I checked into 3rd Battalion, 1st Marines in December of 2021. Shortly after that, I was kind of given the guidance by my battalion commander that we needed to start looking for a new motto. After going through a lot of the history, a lot of the lineage, there was a lot of uh, award citations, after actions, all that that was thrown in that data dump. And I started going through previous Medal of Honor recipients from the battalion. And as I went through PFC William Foster's citation, that's when I stumbled upon this really awesome story about how he was in the Battle of Okinawa and they were in a defensive position. He was in a fighting hole. The Japanese were starting to overwhelm their positions and a Japanese grenade landed in their fighting hole. And PFC Foster jumped on the grenade and continued fighting. And then prior to him passing away, he took his last two grenades and handed them to his buddy and said, make them count. And what was cool about it is I've never seen a Medal of Honor citation that has any sort of direct quotations from the recipient in the actual citation write-up so it was really cool to see his his words on the paper right on the citation itself um, and and the fact that that was memorialized in the actual citation was just rare to me but also um, it, it really kind of personifies what we're looking for as far as like a new motto uh, and what what our marines at third time first marine could have been uh, proud of Recently, 3rd Battalion, 1st Marines went to Australia as part of Marine Rotational Force Darwin. And while we were over there, shortly before we actually redeployed back to the States, uh, my battalion commander received a letter in the mail. Um, and it was from a Sergeant um, William Darling, who just celebrated his 98th birthday and was thanking us for, you know, basically wishing a happy birthday, but also was encouraged by the, the battalion's change uh, in the motto. And in that letter, he actually indicated that he was in the fighting hole to the left of PFC Foster during this battle, and that he actually heard PFC Foster's last words prior to him dying. It's amazing to know that, you know, we, we hear names on a citation, PFC Foster's name, or PFC Kinzer's name, or Lester's name. Uh, all, all of these Marines you know, reading it on a piece of paper is one thing. To know that there's people that actually heard the last words in those citations, actually fought alongside of them. Um, I mean, that's why we continue to serve, is just to be a part of a bigger legacy and to continue the legacy of those that have sacrificed so much in the past. I think that's a great opportunity for our Marines at Third Battalion First Marines to be able to reflect on our past remember those who have gone before us and use that to propel how we fight and win battles in the future.